a windy spring note with macaws on the color. Uh, I have posted two notes on decalogue number 9 and 10 and now I am number, num at number 8 I, it seems to be a uh, countdown instead of going from 1 to 10 I'm going from 10 to 1 uh, but it's not on purpose it's just that I'm looking through all discs and uh, I see I watch um, them at random as I see them well, I try to to have a, a variety. Variety is one uh, rule of happiness, as suggested in the extremely interesting, excellent uh, uh, book by Stefan Klein, uh, The Science of Happiness. Uh, it's translated here as Formula Fericiri. Um, variety is one key. Uh, Tal ben at Harvard has this as uh, uh, explained as the lasagna principle. You can't, well, he, that's his favorite food, but he can't have lasagna all day, every day. And um, so I try and watch um, American cinema and then add some Scandinavian festen that was recently. Uh, a bit depressing, but good, though. And then I've seen Apu, the Apu trilogy, Indian. Again, good. returning to the Decalogue, uh, in the ones noted so far, we had stamps <laughs> at the center of, wait, of one episode. And then impotence as key in another. Uh, here we have another interesting uh, proposal um, and as far as I could see it deals with not saying uh, bad words, lies about your neighbor even if on Google there was another entry which suggested that uh, commandment number 8 is in, in the Bible is something with not stealing. Um, therefore, it's clear. Uh, I, I, I don't know my Bible. <laughs> not just not religious, I'm not very respectful because I'm having fun with it. Um, nevertheless, uh, religious or not, this Decalogue, uh, which is based on the Ten Commandments uh, issued by God <laughs> or their 14 uh, this has reminded me of the uh, joke in the line of dialogue in, uh, in uh, uh, History of the World by Mel Brooks irreverential, blasphemous uh, some fundamentalists would say wherein of course, we have a history which is upside down. We have uh, an African American coming out of the Roman Senate, uh, not even this era, maybe, uh, but with a, a powerful stereo uh, blasting loudly, "Won't you take me to Funky Town?" <laughs> so Moses is coming down from the mountain after his talk with with God. He's booming. Moses, yes, yes, Moses, I hear you, I hear you, a deaf man can hear you, like God is to love, and he comes back with, with stones and says, I have here the 14, one tablet falls and breaks, 10 commandments, <laughs> so that is the word more initially, but they just got lost in translation, there's another great movie for you. Uh, or in transportation photo so here we have an important um, moment in the past that is um, uh, mentioned and recalled in the present today we have in today which is 
a few decades ago in, in Poland, uh, the present, we have a teacher, an, an old interesting woman, 60 maybe, who is visited by a younger woman in her 30s, I would say. She's from America, she's translating her works because the teacher is at the university uh, an appreciated scholar and also a writer, an author. And um, the American has also a story to tell. She, 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 she wants to attend the, the uh, lectures in, in class. She does so and she's, she's telling this about the story. And she's asking for moral judgment, guidance. Was it wrong? What's, what's the ethical perspective? Because the teacher is... Um, uh, is a specialist, as a scholar only. So, uh, a family brought in uh, a Jewish girl to be adopted and hence saved from the Holocaust, from the Nazi uh, massacre. It, would, it had been arranged, as far as I can remember. Uh, but what it's relevant, poignant and tragic is that the family was supposed to take and refuse it. I'm thinking not to, in terms of, of, of spoiler alert, not to mention what happened. But I'm just saying that this is very, it raises questions. Why did they do that? Uh, how, how terrible this can be? What's the ethics? What can be done? I would just say that things are much more complicated than they seem. Indeed, it's not just a refusal on account of brutality, bestiality, one would say, letting this poor child to die. It was a question of the wrong information, sometimes falsehood, in, important in that commandment. Uh, it looked like the family works for the Nazis and then they would give in and uh, the results would be if not catastrophic, um, really serious, and it's 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 a very powerful, very very meaningful, thought-provoking, like the others, indeed, uh, installment in this decalogue, and I'm looking forward to to watch the rest.